Well guys, after Hurricane Aline came through and caused massive flooding in North Carolina, a lot of people have speculated that that was connected with the fact that they had found massive deposits of lithium in that area. And a lot of people have theorized that it was weather warfare used to destroy the area so they could take the land cheaply and mine that lithium. I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm not saying it was it, but there was something definitely strange about what happened there. The devastation, the depth of the flood that came through, the massive uh, property damage, the massive loss of life, and we aren't seeing really anything about it now on the, on the mainstream media at all. All they're talking about now is Trump, we don't hear anything about the people in North Carolina that lost their property, their lives. We aren't hearing anything about the lithium mining or nothing like that now, but a lot of people have theorized that the two are connected. They find massive deposits of lithium, and then lo and behold, we have a Hurricane Helene come through. It comes all the way up through across Florida, all the way up in North Carolina in the exact area where the lithium mines where the lithium deposits were found, gets the most damage. Strange, isn't it? But anyways, guys, I was watching a video on Rumble on Richie from Boston's channel on Rumble. He's also on Odyssey, I think, and BitChute. And he was talking about this very topic. And his theory was that they're going to do something like everyone thinks, or a lot of people think they did with North Carolina and the hurricane. He thinks they're going to set off New Madrid Fault and cause a massive earthquake on purpose to be able to take the land and the property owners to be able to mine that lithium and to be able to, you know, if you destroy people's property, destroy their homes, and they can't build back, you can get that land for pretty much pennies on the dollar. And they can make a lot more profit that way without having to pay, you know, royalties and things to these landowners that are there. So it's definitely, you know, a possibility. But that's his theory that they're going to cause a massive earthquake on the Madrid, New Madrid fault line and take the property so they can mine this lithium. I don't know if that's true or not. Definitely a possibility because we know these corporations run the United States. The United States is a corporation. It's ran by corporations. And it's all about the bottom line and all about profit. And this lithium is like the new gold because they're going to use this and all these batteries all these cars all these systems that they're planning on putting in by 2030 so they're going to mine all these all the lithium to be able to make those batteries and they're going to and, and other things and they're going to make trillions upon trillions of dollars that is the new oil the new gold the new robber barons is over this lithium and we know that as far as human life goes, these corporations and the government, too, in my opinion, doesn't care anything about life, doesn't care anything about people's property or nothing. If they can get rid of all these people, not, not have to pay top dollar for the land, or not have to pay uh, royalties to these people when they're taking out this lithium from under the ground, under their property. And it makes it much easier, you know, when everyone is gone, these pesky humans getting in the way, you know, of these mining operations. But even if that isn't the case, this is located, like I said, right on the New Madrid fault. A giant hidden source of lithium was just discovered in Arkansas, and this article was published on October the 25th, 2024. The smack over formation and sampling area in the lower portion of the Arkansas highlighted with red stripes. I'm able to see that. But even if they don't do something like that, like Richie from Boston theorized, even if they don't cause something to happen to destroy this area, like setting off this earthquake, they're going to be drilling in that area. They're going to be mining in that area right on top of that fault line. And from what I've read here, the way they're going to, the way they plan on mining this is injecting high pressure, massive amounts of water into the area. And that could definitely, I'm, I'm not a ge geologist, but I've looked into it and done a little reading here over the last couple of hours, and that could definitely 
cause an earthquake to erupt. And if it does, it's going to destroy a major earthquake that New Madrid fought. It would destroy lots and lots of property, take lots of people's lives through Arkansas and Missouri. And I would feel it here where I am. I'm in East Tennessee, but I guarantee you that I would feel the effects of that here. And it could actually damage my house because I have a basement and a lot of concrete and things like that. It could crack the foundation of that. I mean, they're drilling in to the vault, injecting high pressure, millions more millions of gallons of water through that system to get that lithium out. What could go wrong? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? And one thing about it, they're definitely not going to leave this in the ground. It's too much money. It's too much money for them. And they need this lithium for all these EV batteries and all these... Uh, all this solar crap that they're trying to make everyone go to, and all these electric cars and things. I like solar, but it's good for a backup, not a main power source. But then, if you have a mass off of people and put all these people in 15-minute cities, then you might be able to power that with windmills and solar power. So, could that be another possibility? We already know that the plan is to lower the population in the United States by 90%, or the world, I think it was, by 90%. And if you look at the Beagle Report, it pretty much coincides with that number by 2025, and we're getting close to that right now. This would cause lots of death, destruction, bridges out, roadways out, homes destroyed, but they can mine their lithium. They can make billions of dollars. And that's what's important to these corporations and these companies. So even if they don't do something major and cause it to happen so they can take the land from these landowners and not to pay royalties, if they do just try to mine that lithium, more than likely they could definitely set off a major, major earthquake on that fault line. You're putting in high-pressure water through this into the soil, into the ground, and through that fault line. What could possibly go wrong? And I went to ChatGTP and I asked about this type of mining and if it could actually cause this fault to erupt. And it said, yep, it definitely could. So they would have to take all kinds of different precautions and things like that, but we also know how that actually works. Shit happens. You start screwing around with things like the New Madrid fault line, putting massive amounts of water under high pressure, and taking out lots and lots of things from underneath the soil around that fault, that it could definitely cause that to erupt. And more than likely, it will. And they're going to get this lithium. They're not going to leave that lithium in the ground. They will be mining this. They will be running high pressure water through. They will be doing other mining techniques to get this out, but they're not going to leave this in the ground. That's a definite. They will be trying to extract these minerals, this lithium, from these mines. So I think that definitely makes the uh, possibility of a major earthquake on that New Madrid fault line, it definitely increases the possibility and likelihood. Like I said, Richie from Boston's theory is that they're going to set it off, make it happen, take it now, get rid of the landowners, get rid of the people, so they can take the property, take the land, and not have to pay, you know, steep royalties. They just get the land for a few cents on the dollar, and it's theirs. They can mine it any way they want. So that's definitely a possibility. You know, we saw what happened in North Carolina when they found lithium. Hurricane Helene, massive flooding, massive death. And my what I heard last was like 10,000 deaths in North Carolina. I'm not sure about that number, but that's what I heard. If anyone knows if that's factual or not, let me know in the comments below or send me an email. Horrifying. Horrifying. But guaranteed, they will not leave that lithium in the ground in Arkansas. Or North Carolina. They found it, they're going to use it, they're going to get it out of the ground. And it doesn't matter how many lives they destroy, whose property they destroy, it doesn't matter. 
It's all about the profit, all about the bottom line. And they will be extracting that from both areas. So they definitely could set it off, maybe on purpose, I don't know. But definitely, when they start this process of putting all this high-pressure water through and taking things out of the ground right around that fault line and right on top of that, they could definitely set this off. What you think in the comments below? Do you like the video? If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, hopefully they can get it out because they're going to try and nothing happens. And more than likely, they're going to try to get it out of there and they will get it out. And more than likely, they will cause a massive earthquake on the New Madrid fault line. And there'll be a whole lot of shaking going on. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. In the Creek more. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.